Skill at School training video for Blue Sky. Logging use of the flexible CPD hour. When you log on to Blue Sky, you should see your home screen. The first thing you need to do is click on the training button. The flexible CPD hours are all labelled TLC and the number just denotes the term that we're working in. So for this term, we're looking at TLC3. To create the activity, CPD activity for this event, click on the Create CPD activity for this event text shown in blue and you'll come through to this page. The title of the CPD activity needs to be left as TLC3 so it will make it easier for me to run my report. You should then enter your intended outcome for the um, flexible CPD hour and um, George, this is George Clooney's account, is going to use that to improve differentiation to support progress for SA students. Nice and brief single sentence will suffice. The date activity set is just the date that you do this. The date activity is attended, although that might be different for some of you because you might use a flexible CPD hour another time. You, if you leave it on that date, it will be easier for me to track because that's the date of the allocated time. The description, flexible CPD hour for term three, that information can be left there, but then you might want to give, or well, you need to give, some details of what you're going to be doing. So George is going to be meeting with Rob Lowe to discuss the progress of specific students and plan together using um, SEM profiles and resources from the CPD area it shared. Again, just a single sentence is fine. You're not going to require any cover or any additional resources, so all of that information can just be left blank. It's all to do with if you're booking external courses. So just click down to the Next Step button. You can then link this to your objectives so that you'll have evidence for those objectives when it comes to the professional review. So you click on your objectives, and this relates to George's teaching and learning target, rather his objective rather than his data objective. So you click that and it will be linked. And then if you click Save, you'll have created that activity. If you've done this properly, then in the CPD directory, you'll see the courses that you've signed up for. And TLC3, actually George has signed up for it twice, look, appears there. He's doing two different things, Naughty George, it's because I've done this a couple of times, will, will appear there. You'll then receive an email the day after the course date, which will be the 24th of January, asking you for a short-term evaluation of the activity you undertook, and then a subsequent long-term evaluation two weeks later, and both of these need to be completed. Please come and see me if you want any help with any of this. Thank you for watching.